Hello viewers, Shalom listeners, Shalom everyone. Thank you once again for joining me. So we just learned that the Sanupiev is wantonly trashing the country's supreme law, which is the constitution that prohibits traditional leaders from engaging in partisan politics after it enlisted five village headmen as its polling agents in Urungwe, Mashonal and West province. The headmen under scrutiny are namely Takasuka Chitsuke of Nyamahapi, Paul Brahim of Kasimure, Maki Kachamaeza of Dambanzara, Yokai Mupani Dengu, and Special Brahim of Kamkombe. The Triple C aspiring Urungwe East Parliamentarian Blessing Mandawa raised concern over the subtle rigging mechanism which he has since flagged with the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. He said, Rigging of elections is already underway and is coming in many forms. The appointment of Yedmin as polling agents is definitely rigging by ZANU PFS. That is how they are going to intimidate villagers, claiming they will be watching them within polling stations. I have raised a complaint with the Miss Tue, who is the Sec Ward 6 elections officer, who only noted the issue and said she will forward it to the command center. When contacted for comment, the Zek Mashonel and West Provincial Elections Officer Austin Yogg professed ignorance of any provision of the Electoral Act barring traditional leaders from performing duties as polling agents. There is no way explicitly written that traditional leaders cannot be this or that. I don't have that at law that traditional leaders have their limitations in terms of electoral participation in electoral law. I will have to consult further. What I don't really know is whether headmen can be election agents. I don't want to lie, but I haven't encountered that in law. But what I know, they have electoral rights to vote for whoever they want. The provincial elections boss advised Mandawa and other such aggrieved candidates to present cases at multi part liaison committees at world level and escalate issues via platforms if dissatisfied by outcomes. Glove reiterated other laws might preclude yet maintain chief from political participation and not explicit the electoral act which Grimm spoke of his work. Constitution of Zimbabwe section 281 and the traditional leaders act section 45 and 46 outline what traditional leaders ought to do and ought not to do in respect of politics and elections. However, traditional leaders often wantonly disregard laws mostly with impunity in principle, traditional leaders must not be members of any political party or in any way participate in partisan politics. Act in a partisan manner, further the interests of any political party or cause or violate the fundamental rights and freedoms of any person. In May 2018, presidency was set when the Elections Resource Center successfully sued Chief Fortune Charumbira over unconstitutional utterance pledging support to Zanupiev. The court instructed him to retract the statement, an order he did not abide by. Instead, he has uttered more statements to the same effect with no consequence. Prior, Mashungu High Court Judge Garain Esmawazi in 2015 made a ruling prohibiting traditional leaders from making political statements and declaring allegiance to any political party.